Hello everybody, I'm Richard Holden. Welcome to another episode of Speed Seekers. Today, we're back with our friends at Comp Cams. We're gonna show you how to transform a junkyard 5.3 liter into a fire breathing 600 horsepower 383 stroke. So let's get things started and check out our stock 5.3. The 5.3 liter has quickly become the go-to motor for performance applications and swaps. And for good reason. First of all, it's readily available, it's affordable, and it makes good power, even in stock form. To put that into perspective, a stock 5.3 from a truck or SUV makes as much power as any of the performance motors from the muscle car era. So that's a good start. We went down to a local wrecking yard and snatched up a 5.3 liter LM7 and installed it on the dyno. Before running, we replaced the stock manifolds with long tube headers, we removed all the accessories, and hooked up a fast XFI management system to dial in the air fuel and timing. Run in this manner, our otherwise stock 5.3 liter produced 355 horsepower at 5200 RPM and 381 foot-pounds of torque at 4000 RPM. Now that's a good start, but rather than installing heads, cam, or maybe a fast intake, we decided to go all in and build a stroker. You might be asking yourself, why build a stroker? Why not just install heads, cam, and intake on our 5.3 liter? Well, that's a good question, but an easy answer. You see, if we install ported heads, a comp cam, and a fast intake on our 5.3 liter, we're gonna produce somewhere near 500 horsepower. That factory short block doesn't have valve reliefs, so it limits the amount of camshaft we can run. If we build a 383, we get, first of all, more displacement, but we also get a piston with a valve relief that allows us to run even wilder cam timing. So the combination of extra displacement and wilder cam timing equals more power. To improve the power output of our LM7, we stepped the displacement up from 5.3 liters, or 325 inches, all the way up to 383 cubic inches. Now this required a change of both bore and stroke. The bore was increased to 3.905 inches and the stroke to an even 4 inches. All of this was topped with a set of ported LS6 heads, a fast LSXR intake, and a healthy comp cam. The camshaft featured 624 lift, a 239-247 degree duration split, and a 114 degree lobe separation angle. Run on the dyno, our 383 produced 602 horsepower at 6400 RPM and 543 foot-pounds of torque at 5,400 RPM. Now this represented gains of 247 horsepower and 162 foot-pounds over that 5.3. So this just goes to show you that a combination of camshaft and displacement really works well. I'm Richard Holdner, that's all the time I have. I wanna thank the guys at Comp Cams. Join me next time on Speed Secrets.